A packed town hall meeting today as Democratic and Republican lawmakers meet with concerned concern constituents. KXY 4's Annie Bishop is working for you tonight with more on the debate over funding public education. Annie. And the Supreme Court makes it very clear with its McCleary decision. The state has a constitutional duty to fully fund public education by 2018. We're now halfway through this legislative session with no firm plan on how to achieve this. More than 200 people packed into town hall meeting today for the third legislative district this morning. Representative Marcus Riccelli, Senator Andy Billig, and Representative Tim Ormsby all attending to answer questions from constituents. Education, early learning, and health care a top priority for a lot of people today. Both the Democrat-led House and Republican-led Senate have passed plans on fully funding education. Republicans propose a new property tax and eliminate operation and maintenance levies to pay for education. Democrats are looking at a new revenue source. The crux of the uh, uh, argument is whether we do this with new revenue, um, which means new taxes. Nobody wants additional taxes, um, uh, but sometimes uh, you have to say that's the most responsible way to move forward because doing it without new revenue means uh, funding education at the expense of something else. Washington Governor Jay Inslee is proposing $3.9 billion in new funding for K-12 through schools. Now, Republican Town Hall meeting at uh, the, the museum here in town, wrapping up just a half an hour ago. Every day that education is not fully funded, the state is fined $100,000 by the state Supreme Court. So far, that's totaling about $57 million. In the studio tonight, Annie Bishop, KXLY4 News.